Well, new at 10 tonight, uh, those of the shopping in Pelham, those shopping in Pelham will soon pay more in sales tax. The city council approved a one cent increase last night to help pay for projects around the city. Our Lauren Harkson on your side tonight with what people are saying about the increase and when you can expect to start digging a little deeper, Lauren. That's right, Steve. Brittany, the increase passed in a 3-2 vote just last night, so I spoke with city councilors on both sides of that vote, and they both agreed that the extra money people are spending in the city needs to be maximized, and residents are ready to see more projects completed. We hate to see taxes increase. However, I, our infrastructure does need improvement, and so it is just one cent. Some Pelham residents understanding after the city passed a sales tax increase. I'm going to continue to purchase in Pelham where I live and continue, you know, to help the city grow. But other residents are against the increase, which pushed two city councilors to vote against it Monday. My approach to this being that it was a difficult decision was to reach out on social media, to reach out in person with the citizens and say, what do you want in this situation? And uh, by and large, the bulk of the people that I spoke to either online or in person said, hey, let's let's kind of take a pause on this, especially with our economy where it's at. So that was my purpose uh, behind going with the no answer. One of the biggest reasons I personally voted for it uh, was to see the continued growth. The tax increase passed three to two. With this passing, we need to make sure that this additional funds that are coming in are going to be maximized. We see the tax increase uh, as an opportunity to complete projects that we have on the board. One of those projects, the Highway 52 train track flyover. Uh, everybody's aware we received a, a $40 million grant, uh, but what some people are not aware, it does come with a $10 million match. City Council President Maurice Mercer says funds will also go toward improving EMS response, road conditions, and trails. I encourage the citizens to hold us accountable. The projects that we've listed uh, that we want done, uh, please come to City Council meeting, get involved, make sure that we are doing that and we're being good stewards of the money. Now, Mercer says the tax increase will be attached to retail goods only, not groceries, and you'll see that 1% increase or one penny on the dollar beginning in November. Steve.